Hey, and uh, welcome again to this uh, day's uh, coffee break we're having. We're calling this uh, USN Travel Talks a little bit of a coffee break. We do 15 minutes. It's going to be quick and easy and uh, just update you on what's happening around the world. And today I got Yannick with me from Arabian Ventures. And, uh, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, it's good morning or good afternoon, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> Depending on where we are. Um, and Yannick and me talked, uh, thought about, uh, of course, Dubai is a um, busy uh, place uh, at the moment because you've got Expo. It's uh, one of the places you can come with not too much hassle in one way in terms of uh, PCR testing or, you know, uh, quarantines and everything. And so we thought of talking a little bit about how the situation are at the moment, a little bit about Expo and actually how we can package um, Dubai and Abu Dhabi. And we're going to make that in 15 minutes, basically, we're going to do. So I think, I see we got a few people live as well. So welcome to those who's coming with us live. And for those who's listening later on, of course, we do this on, uh, you get everything uh, tomorrow, um, a replay, and we upload it on our YouTube channels as well, so you can listen to it again. So welcome, Yannick. Thank you. Thanks very much for having me. Yeah, and, it's uh, been a pleasure always. Oh, it's been a long been time. A, a couple of yeah, a couple of busy months as well behind yeah. us here. As as you say, like obviously, Expo starting started with a bang, but we've also seen uh, just massive increase, a tsunami of demand uh, for tourism in general. You know, people want to come to Dubai. Uh, the October break has been uh, fantastic, uh, the, and November carried on on the, on, the, on the same pace. Yeah. Yeah. So we got um, a little report from from Expo two days ago, I believe, and they they said that they recorded already four million visitors since the beginning of, of Expo. Four million. Four million. Oh, that's very good. That is. Yeah. But it has been quite busy, and I know you've been up there uh, quite a few times. I must say, yeah. most of the people who's listening in knows that I'm actually in Dubai as well, so we're sitting in each of our office in Dubai, basically, and, and yeah. talking to each other. But um, but you've been up how many times, um, Yannick? I've been I've been six times already, six times oh. with the family. So yeah. we've uh, we've contributed to the four million. Yeah. Um, and we must say, like we yeah we love it. The kids love it as well. Uh, so far, we've seen about sixty pavilions as well, sixty country pavilions. Wow. Um, and it's just a, a fun a fun place to go. You know, in the afternoon, we say, okay, what are we gonna do this afternoon? So let's go to Expo, and we just go to Expo, and uh, we see a few pavilions, uh, and then there are shows happening. There are concerts. There are some uh, some kind of artistic shows. So there's always something different to, to see. And every time you go, you, you visit a different area of, of a big expo site yeah. and you find something new that it's a, uh... so yes, yeah, so it's, it's a, it's a very interesting, interesting place to visit. Yeah. yeah. How many, uh, or how old is your kids? Eight and five. Okay. I was just thinking in terms of when they bring in kids, if someone is, you know, selling this to a family who's going down. Maybe they didn't think about going to the expo, but it's, yeah. it's good to know that it's, it's easy for um, or yeah. families. It's, it's, really, it's really interesting for everyone because even the kids uh, find a different interest than the adults. Some, some pavilions are a bit more interesting for, for adults and for kids, obviously, depending on, on what, they, what they have on the show. Uh, some pavilions are very interactive uh, for kids with, like, uh, you know, the, the glasses and you can see what's happening in the country as well as movies and so on. So, so there, there, there's something for everyone, I would say. Really something for everyone. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and what do you and, think? Yeah, if, comes... yeah. So when you're going with your children in the afternoon, for example, how many pavilions mm -hmm. do you manage to take in basically, before uh, you we, maybe we also do... feel that you don't, you know, yeah. you're, you're, you're filled up? We do around six to ten, six to ten a day. So obviously you will have the big, the big pavilions, the main, the main country pavilions, but then yeah. you have all the smaller ones which are in between, you know? So for example, uh, I must say our favorite so far has been uh, Colombia. Colombia yeah. was a highlight for me, really nice. Uh, I, we loved uh, Pakistan. We love mm -hmm. Pakistan. We love Saudi. Uh, we loved uh, Guatemala, uh, Rwanda. So there's a lot of smaller pavilions as well in the middle, but you can just mm -hmm. pop in and out. And yeah. Uh, and yeah, it's it's a it's a it's, it's a very nice experience. And then yeah, as I said, you have all the entertainment in the evening because at night it, it changes completely because the lights go on, 
yeah. and it's a completely different atmosphere as well uh, with a big al wasl dome which is sublime uh, at night it's it's really nice yeah okay so you would suggest that people either go uh, maybe for a day trip like during the day just to be experience the pavilions and then actually yeah. either stay at to the night or if they do two trips they go in the evening as well because yeah. staying for a full day can maybe be a little bit tiring but there is restaurants yeah. and there is yeah, places exactly. to rest and and uh and obviously, um, it's it's the start of winter as well in Dubai now, so the weather is much nicer. So at, at the beginning of October when we were going, it was still really hot. Yeah. Now it's 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 perfect nowadays. You can yeah. even go in the morning. And and actually, my tip would be go in the morning. The first yeah. pavilions expo. The site opens at nine o'clock, but the, the pavilions open for from ten o'clock. And in the morning, there's no one, so you go and you can really enter everything without queuing. In the afternoon, the crowds start to arrive, so in the afternoon yeah. it gets busier. So okay. if you go in the morning and you do the main pavilions you want to see in the morning, uh, you can also, through with your tickets, you, you will get some, some smart queues, the fast track. So you can pre-book some, some pavilions that you really want to, to go to. You can all allocate your smart queues for this pavilion. Do this in the morning and then in the evening you enjoy the entertainment around. And then you, you talked about uh, F&B. Yes, plenty of restaurants for all budgets. Uh, yeah. There's alcohol as well on the side there, so you can have a beer if you want to have a beer at one of the restaurants there. So it's uh, you will have simple uh, places like pizzeria up to the, the most fi fine dining restaurants. There's really something for all budget and uh, for yeah for every uh, for families for for couples. For, yeah, very, and you have water fountains as well everywhere everywhere within Expo, so you can easily refill your your water bottles. Yeah. So it's uh no it's 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 okay. fun it's a fun place. So, so if yeah. you just sum up on, on the expo, like you said, it worth while going there more than once. Uh, hundred percent. Yeah, you yeah. you will not manage to do yeah. everything in one day. 100%. No, no. So mm -hmm. so the three days ticket is worth buying in one way. So you have so to actually so what Expo did, they they cancelled the three day ticket and there's now a multiple entry ticket. Ah, so okay. yeah, so so you will have either a one day ticket or yeah. a multiple entry ticket. Okay. That is valid for 30 days from your, your first day of what you enter Expo. So from the okay. day you enter, it's valid for 30 consecutive days afterwards. Oh, and cool. with, with a one-day ticket, you get three fast track, three yeah. smart use. And with a multiple entry ticket, you get 10 uh, fast tracks. Smart. Okay, cool. Yeah. So that's good. And like I said, the kids, just remember maybe to have a hat and, of course, a water bottle with you so you can refill yeah. it around. And um, yeah, and, and good shoes to walk in. I know my son has been oh, up yes. there as well yeah. uh, during school. They have school excursions. So yeah. uh, definitely um, he was in a full school uniform with his normal shoes. And that was not a good idea. So good shoes mm -hmm. and a bit of sun cream <laughs> and, uh, and the water bottle. So then moving over to Dubai, like we said, it's busy these days. We can see tourists coming yeah. back. It's, uh, Dubai is, is popular. Correct, yes. I've, I've prepared a little slide that I'll just show quickly, just to yeah. show you uh, how tourism bounced back in, in Dubai. Yeah. It's been it's been phenomenal, really, like we, since um, the mid-September, mid, um, mid yeah. suddenly the, the demand picked up for Dubai. Everybody wanted to, to travel, and it's very last minute, so it's travel within the month off of the following month. Yeah. So we came, you can see from the bottom line, that was the number of, of clients that we handled uh, in Dubai. So yeah. that is all your transfers, your tours, your excursions, safaris, and so on. Yeah. So in, in August, we were at four and a half thousand passengers, yeah. September seven, seven and a half. Yeah. And suddenly you can see the, the big October, jump from yeah. October to 20, almost 24,000. Yeah. And now in November, we are getting close to, to 36,000 already. Well, a few more days left for for November, yeah. so you can see how the demand has has picked up crazy, like suddenly in in a space of two weeks. Yeah, and uh, and that's why as well some of you listening, um, if if you are your partners of Arabian Adventures, you would have experienced some delays in replies from our team, uh, also potentially a few a few uh, mistransfers in in the country and so on. It's just because everybody has been overwhelmed by the the sudden bounce uh, bounce back of tourism, you know. Yeah, of business um, coming back again. Yeah. We we even had it's the first time that happened in in the history of Arabian adventures. We had to put our transfers on stop sale for the month of November because we didn't have enough vehicles in town to service all the customers that we had to service. 
Um, and Dubai, in general, at the moment, there's a, there's a shortage of taxis, of yeah. Ubers as well. Tell me uh, about it. <laughs> Sorry right? to say, yeah. yeah. No, if, if you're going, especially, I can say as a hint, is like uh, between four or five, because that's the change of drivers are changing between four and five. Yeah. It's impossible to get a taxi. Yeah, and that's why as well, if people who wants to go to want to go to Expo, we recommend the metro. It, yeah, it's still the, it's the so best easy. way to go to the metro to yeah. to the Expo, and you the termin the terminus is at Expo, and you you end up in the in the, in the heart of Expo. Yeah. So it's really the, the best way to. And to also, get there. if you live in the marina, it's just straight on uh, and the straight yeah. to, and it costs you seven dirhams, which is like yeah. 14, 15 krona. So I just wanted to to show you this this slide of the just to show you that yeah, yeah uh, it's yeah, it's good. been a, a busy two months yeah um, and and uh, con sorry continuing about our um, our talk about Dubai I'll just I stop think you need to stop sharing yeah uh, so yes <laughs> Dubai yeah. is very is very busy um, now for the month of November a lot of hotels are, don't have availability anymore and also it has carried on in in December. Uh, the first week of December is quite busy because we have a, a, the national holidays. It's a, mm. it's a long weekend here in Dubai. Yeah. Uh, we also have the Dubai Rugby Sevens happening the, week, the first yeah. weekend of December, followed by the Abu Dhabi Formula One Grand Prix uh, yeah. on the weekend of, of 10th December as well. So this first 10, uh, 10 days of December is quite busy. And then we, there's a little pocket of availability from 10 to 16 December where some you can find some, some rooms. But then it's already full choco block from uh, from like yeah 16 18 onwards until after the new year period. If you're yeah. looking for for a beach resort in Dubai now, it's really really hard to find availability. There's only a few potential hotels still available. Um, Ras Al Khaimah is similar as well. I was talking to a few hotels in Ras Al Khaimah. They are fully booked. Your only uh, chance to find some availability still it's Abu Dhabi at the moment. So Abu Dhabi still have a few a bit of rooms available, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, and that yeah, comes so another question we are always like I was asked actually yesterday as well from some other Scandinavians. How is it with Abu Dhabi? Can we drive in or can you visit Abu Dhabi? Can you do it? Can you combine? maybe Dubai and Abu Dhabi, or can you yeah. fly in with Emirates? Since Emirates is starting basically flying from all the cities now daily Correct. in from Scandinavia. Can we fly yeah. in here and then uh, go to Abu Dhabi? So what happened um, during the COVID time, there was a, an actual physical border between Dubai and Abu Dhabi. They, they put a physical border, so you need to have a PCR test in order to cross the border and so on. This border has been removed uh, in September. I think it was on the 19th of mm. September. So there's no more borders border now between Dubai and Abu Dhabi. Uh, however, so you, you can enter Abu Dhabi without any restrictions, without having to, to produce any PCR test or anything. However, in Abu Dhabi, in order to access uh, a hotel or um, an attraction like the, the, the Grand Mosque, the Louvre, or uh, the theme parks, or the restaurants and malls, you need to be vaccinated and to have a PCR test of uh, less than 30 days. Okay. So that means that if you, if you land in Abu Dhabi, you get a test on arrival there. But still, it's still mandatory in Abu Dhabi. It's free of charge at the airport. You get a test on, on arrival, and then you're free to roam. There's no quarantine. There's nothing. If you land in Dubai, you don't need to do any test on arrival. You can go to Abu Dhabi, as I said. But if you're on a city tour or you want to stay in a hotel, you will need to have to be vaccinated and to have had the test within the last, last 30 days. Okay. So if, you, if you take a test, sorry, uh, just last, last point. So if you take a test two days before your flight to come to Dubai, this test will be valid for you in Abu Dhabi as well. Yeah. So basically, if you're summing up a little bit on the Abu Dhabi issue, put it this mm -hmm. way, is that um, you need to be vaccinated. And you need your negative PCR test upon arrival, basically. And for us from Scandinavia, we need yeah. a negative PCR test to entering the flight anyway. So that PCR test yeah. can be used in Abu Dhabi. And, and uh, if you have that and you are vaccinated, you're, you're good to go in and stay in Abu Dhabi yeah. or travel to Abu Dhabi. So that's, that's for general stays in Abu Dhabi. But obviously, some events will have their own rules, like the Formula One Grand Prix, for example. They request a test within 48 hours of the Grand Prix. Yeah. So if you go to the Formula One, then you need to have a test within, made within two days from the, 
the start of, of Formula One, basically. But, but again, but the testing is yeah. so easy here in Dubai yeah. anyway. So if you're staying in Dubai, uh, you can get a test every, basically every for everything between 50 and 150 dirhams. Uh, yeah, and our real adventures as well, we, we think about the, um, the convenience for our customers. So we, we propose, we offer a, a service of PCR test at the hotel. Okay. That we can book in advance for, for you. It's only $65 a person. Okay. And then you stay at the hotel and the medical team comes and does the test for you in your own room and you receive the, the results within 24 hours on your email and by SMS. Yeah. So so no need to to take a car to go to a hospital to take an appointment. No, we no. give you a set time and it's it's done. Yeah. But again, there is plenty around both the marina and uh, other places as well. So I don't Correct. think the testing wouldn't be an issue. No, for, it's a bit or, or yes, it's, no, no, it's not. I think that's when our uh, 50 minutes coffee break is over. We had, um, I've been drinking my coffee at least. Um, and it was great that you could update us on uh, both on the expo. Like I said, it's worthwhile both taking uh, kids and, and families and do it multiple times. And like we now have the multiple ticket entrance ticket, which is great instead of no. having a set and like we said um dubai over christmas and new year forget about it basically <laughs> <laughs> and and um but uh, think about abu dhabi is an option to do that when there is fully booked here in the day how is ajman by the way on um just thinking uh i'm not sure about ajman uh to be honest but there might still be a few a bit of availability uh, yeah might, again, so that might could be, be an option as well yeah yeah Excellent. And, and Yannick, I like to talk to you um, on another occasion as well. We probably can look about, you know, what maybe on new stuff happening because there's a lot of new hotels openings. We yes. probably maybe do a talk on new hotels uh, coming up here in uh, December. Maybe we can do and uh, also a little bit and of new, new attractions. attractions like, uh, yeah. yeah, the new in Dubai just opened as well. So exactly. yeah, we we'll definitely have yeah. to do, so we do a coffee soon. talk. Yeah, so we can do a coffee break on both attractions and uh, new hotels. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you very much, uh, Yannick, for joining me for this uh, coffee break. And thank My you pleasure. for those three who's been joining us. And I'll send it out to everybody who was signed up. We had 26 people signing up. So I'll send that out to them. And it will be on our YouTube as well. Have a nice, um, uh, have a nice weekend, Yannick. Thank you. You too. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye.